What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Moment Player SBC card that EA just released and it is going to be Draxler to review today. I'm already, by the way, liking the looks of the 4 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot he actually has. He's got 85 pace, 88 dribbling, 85 shooting, 86 passing, 70 defending with a 71 physicals as well. If we are actually comparing this card to his gold card, we are looking at a plus 11 to pace, a plus 6 to dribbling, a plus 12 to defending, a plus 9 to shooting, a plus 6 to passing, and a plus 5 to physicals as well. So the boost is really nice. He's a 6 foot 2 player with medium medium work rates and as I said, 4 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. Now there's two chem styles that I feel like are most likely the go-to with this guy right one being the engine chem style because you are boosting this guy's dribbling ability we have to keep in mind he's a six foot two player we need this guy to feel good on the ball so the engine chem style giving him that increase the agility to balance and the dribbling is always going to be nice but we are also increasing his passing ability to now be insanely good while also giving him that pace increase which we all know he's gonna need so yeah engine chem style looks very good on him but the hunter chem style also looks very good if you really do believe in those in those dribbling stats with him obviously being six foot two and all then the honda chem style would be amazing on this card because you're giving this guy 97 acceleration 94 sprint speed while also giving him some insane insane shooting stats the issue with the engine chem style you're not touching a shooting at all but I'm going to guess 83 finishing with 90 shot power. I personally believe it's going to be enough to put that ball into the back of the net. So yeah, the engine chem style is the way I've gone for here. It's a bit weird with this card because he doesn't really look like a, a CDM. He doesn't really look like a center mid either. I mean, you could kind of squeeze him into a center mid if you are using three center mids in a certain formation. But I feel like this guy's more of a cam than anything to be fair especially with the four star skill moves and the five star weak foot he actually has so the main position i'm gonna be playing this guy in is the cam position but i will put him in like a sentiment position it may be like a full 4-2 formation just to see how he actually plays there now the links for him psg that's that's all i have to say pretty much right that's literally all i have to say psg we're done that's how good the links are, right? You got Hakimi, you got Mbappe, and you also got Diata to get him on full chemistry. You also have got the German links there. So the links for this guy are absolutely top tier. Now, as I said, the positions, cam position, sentiment position. I'll play him in a 4-4-2 in the sentiment position, but I feel like the main position I'm going to be playing this guy in today is the cam position in a 4-2-3-1. So let's get into the games. Nakata just go for a simple turn there. There you go. I tried to pass to Mbappe, but I actually went to Drax. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. He doesn't feel bad on the ball. Can I get a shot there? No. No, and we can't even get a tap in. Is Mbappe offside? He is offside. So we wouldn't have got the goal either way. But that didn't seem too bad of a shot. And it didn't seem too bad on the ball there. Pass out to Mbappe. There you go. Just give it over to Draxler. Chest touch. Nice. Can I use that pace to go all the way down? I'm actually going to hit it towards the near post. And we end up getting ourselves a cheeky goal. Really nice finish. Pass it back. There you go. Pass through the middle. That was a nice run from Draxler. He actually hesitated on it, to be fair to him. But, oh my god, no, I screwed up on the last fake shot there. I should have probably just continued going forward and just took the shot. I'm telling you guys, the dribbling ability, even though he's six foot two, I can see the engine chem style is really helping him out. Like, how he keeps it nice and close to his feet, how he's going for, like, these quick turns as well, it's really good to see. Go for a skill move there, play that through ball. Right, which side am I going to turn on to? This is the thing right with him. It doesn't really matter which side I turn on to. It really doesn't because I can... Wait, he missed it. I was about to say I can take a shot on either side and then this guy misses the opportunity. Nah, come on. It does look like that increase to his shooting ability is, is kind of needed to be fair. Let's see if he can win this header. Is that him all the way at the top? I'm pretty sure it is. The guy's brought out a keeper. Hmm. I kind of want to go back stick here and just believe in him, you know, just believe in him. Come on, Draxler. He actually did win it. Can we score? Kempembe. Kempembe is the one that finishes it. But Draxler back stick there, really nice. Come on, Draxler. There you go. Good interception. Go for a cheeky roulette there for absolutely no reason. Did I mean to do that skill move? I didn't, but then he's just going to get slightly pushed off the ball. I understand his physicals aren't anything crazy. So players like Lorente are probably just going to go over to him, give him a little nudge, and, you know, he's going to lose the ball. Get the Nakata. Well played, Nakata. Go on, Draxler. Keep going. Just keep it going. He'll fake him. There you go. Go for that shot across goal. Can we eventually... Oh, my God. Is it offside? It is offside. Come on, man. How are we not scoring that? 
I'm going to kind of see the inside early. Look how aggressive, by the way, Draxler actually is. Like, he really likes to get himself inside the box. He does come short time to time. But look at him. Still not going into that position. And he eventually comes there. Like, he really wants to be the person that scores those goals. And he does so well to actually keep the ball there, by the way. Ball roll out. Few turns. Can I hit him with this? Yes, I can. Hit. Can I score? Yes, I can. Beautiful finish. OBA it up. That's a perfect pass. Go for a few turns here. Nice. Can I cut into the inside there? I can, but we just couldn't get the shot off. You see how nice he's dribbling actually feels? I'm telling you guys, if you if you want him to feel like this, go with the engine chem style. He feels really, really good for a six foot two player. I'm just going to throw this one out. Just trusting Draxler, you know, just to head that ball. There you go. Take that beauty of a touch as well. Go for that pass. Is it going to be a good pass? Perfect. Literally keeping it on the pitch right in front of Insigne as well. This guy actually slowed down. Give that a cross. Nah, I should have probably waited for Draxler there. Actually, hold up. Shot cancel. Passed him. There you go. We eventually get it. What I was saying is I saw Draxler coming into the box. So maybe I should have waited to give him the ball back. But we got the goal eventually. Spore will scoop that. There you go, Draxler. Good run. Really good run. Should we sweat it across? It's not any fun, is it? It's not any fun when we go ahead and sweat it across. I don't want to really be sweating it. I really don't want to. But, hey, we'll take the goal. I'm just going to continue going with him. There you go. Draxler has beat him. Keep going. I'm just going to power shot it towards the near post. He actually used these outside foot shot trait there as well. I mean, as long as the ball goes into the back of the net, I'm always going to be happy with it. The guy did move the keeper, though. Interesting. Get that? Well played him, Titi. I'm kind of surprised he actually got that ball, by the way. Just ball rolled that. I'm going to go for the shot. It's a standing shot, by the way, and it ends up hitting the post. I actually think the keeper got a touch to it, and I think he actually hit it onto the post, but what a shot that it is. Can you get that? Look at that height, man. The way he shielded off uh, Kempembe there is unreal. Can we get the goal? Navas. Navas, you need to chill. Is this every time I go for a skill move? EA said, nah, you're not doing skill moves anymore with this guy. EA, can you, like, what am I seeing? I'm trying to do a roulette. I'm trying to do a ball roll, and it's just not happening. Can I go for a ball roll now? No, I cannot. Hey, I've got a new skill move, boys. We go for the little, ha, huh, fake. Here with the acceleration. Oh, with the somehow, quote-unquote, shot cancel, which it just wasn't, and we end up getting the goal. I don't know why the skill moves are glitched. I really don't. Just hit that into the middle. There you go. I have moved Draxler, by the way, into that center mid position now. So hopefully... We're going to see him do some defensive work. And I've gone for this pass. Yeah, look at that ball pass, man. That, that is outrageous. Simply outrageous. That is a pass you expect of someone like a, a KDB or even like a Bruno Fernandes. He's going to pass through the gap, isn't he? Yeah, he did. He passed straight through it. Right, I'm controlling Draxler now. And he does put in a very good tackle. This is the thing, right? He's a six foot two player. We have to keep that in mind. So his reach and stuff in that midfield is actually going to be really good. But I was not expecting that good of a tackle. Is he up for the corner? He is up for the corner. Look at him chilling there, back stick. Come on. Let's hit it towards the near post now. And let's see if we can maybe green time this. Oh my God, the keeper hasn't actually came out for it. It was a decent opportunity. He did actually get up there. It just, it looks like he completely missed the ball. Surely he's going to go for the turn, right? He did go for the turn, but we read it like an absolute book. And we do put in a good tackle. And I tried to see if we could get another one there, but it was not going to happen. Hit that forward quickly. There you go. He's making that nice movement. Quick one, two. Come on. Come on, Mbappe. Perfect. That, that has to be a goal. It has to be a goal, right? Yeah, there you go, man. I tell you, Draxler inside that box, right in front of the goal. He doesn't miss. He's going to try to go back up, isn't he? Draxler is there, but we couldn't put in enough, a good enough tackle. Can I come out with that ball? Yes, I can. And that's a good turn. All right, where's the pass? Where is it? We'll roll this. Nice. Good turn. I'm waiting for someone, but you know what? We're going to play it there. And that's a good pass over to Diata, and we're going to give it a go. Imagine. Oh, my God. What a finish. Diata. Okay. So, it is time to review, and we ended up playing three games with Draxler. We actually walked away with seven goals, and we also got ourselves a single assist as well. I told you guys, I was going to be playing this guy in two positions. The cam position and the sentiment position. And it's exactly what I did. And I must admit. I'm impressed. Really am. I didn't think this guy was going to be anything special in that sentiment position. And to be fair, he isn't really anything special. But he is way better than what I expected him to actually be. The cam position, by the way. Oh, that five-star weak foot. The four-star skill moves with how he fell on the ball. The amazing, amazing passing ability. The really good shooting ability and the pace he has. The cam position, I would say, is the way to go. But if you want to play this guy in a sentiment position, I would obviously say go ahead. But one thing I would say to you guys 
is play this guy in a three cent mid formation. Don't play him in a two cent mid formation because I noticed there was a lot of times when I was trying to defend with this guy, I had to get him and drag him back into position. He wasn't one of those players that was like reading lanes, man marking because of how low his defensive awareness actually is. So yeah, send him in position. You can go ahead and do it, but just make sure it's a three cent mid formation. If not, cam position is the way to go. He's really, really good in a cam position. Now, do I believe he's worth the 245,000 coins? He is currently going for 245k. Hmm. It's a lot of coins, isn't it? It's a lot of coins. I feel like that is slightly overpriced. Not by like a crazy amount, but slightly. Because he's a really good player with a five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. And he obviously has that PSG link while also having that German nationality. So 245k, I feel like it's slightly overpriced. But if you can go ahead and get this card, let's say for like 180,000 coins, that's when I feel like it will be worth it. But yeah, he's a really, really nice card. Where would I personally put him in the midfielders tier list? A tier. 100% he will go into the A tier. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.